This video is on strong oxidation of alkenes, predicting products from oxidation of alkenes. The above equations are examples of strong oxidation of alkenes. Strong oxidation causes the complete cleavage of the carbon-carbon double bond. The bracket O is used to balance the oxygen in the equation. It also shows that the oxidizing agent is adding oxygen into the reactant. The number in front of the bracket O tells us the number of oxygen added. We can tell by checking the oxygen in the products. There are 5 oxygen present in the product. and subtract that number with the oxygen present in the organic reactant. Thus, this will give us that 5 oxygen was added to the reactant. But how will we be able to predict the products? An alkene molecule contains two halves. Strong oxidation causes one half the alkene to produce product A. Strong oxidation causes the other half of the alkene to produce product B. Fact A equals to B when substituents on both half of the alkenes are the same. When the alkene N contains two hydrogen, the products form are carbon dioxide and water. When the alkene N contains a hydrogen and an alkyl group, a carboxylic acid is formed. When the alkene N contains two alkyl groups, the product form is a ketone. How about if we oxidize a cyclic alkene, for example, cyclohexene? It is important to see the cyclohexene as this structure. It contains 6 carbon. When doing strong oxidation, always focus on the carbon double bond carbon. Focus your attention on one half of the alkene. It is linked to a carbon, which means alkyl group, and a hydrogen. Hence, a carboxylic acid is produced. While the other end of the alkene contains a hydrogen and an alkyl group 2. Hence, the blue end produces a carboxylic acid 2. Although strong oxidation cleaves the carbon box, carbon-carbon double bond, the other carbon-single bond is intact. Hence, both red and blue ends are actually joined together. Therefore, a dicarboxylic acid with 6 carbon is formed. Replay this video if you need a repeat.